Well, we hope that there will be sort of the final ratification by the Hungarian parliament within, uh, I think, the next few weeks. I'm fairly optimistic about that. There is some domestic turmoil in Hungary at the moment. Whether that will have an impact uh, remains to be seen. But then, of course, it is a transformation of the security situation in Northern Europe, where all of the countries will be in the same security framework. And that will uh, provide a lot of opportunities for integration, for strengthening, and for a more stable deterrent situation in the north. So it's a positive development, no question. We've spoken to many guests over the past three days, and we've concentrated on issues like the war in Ukraine, war in Gaza, and we've looked at it from very up close. You're a man who's sat at the UNGA, talked with uh, counterparts and colleagues regarding the big picture. When you look at the international community's ability or lack thereof to solve these wide-ranging problems, is it time for an update? Does the UN need reforms, or is the international system in its current state broken? I don't think it's broken, but it's under a very significant strain, obviously, because we have a significant rise in geopolitical tension, most notably the Russian aggression, of course. But also tension, although we haven't had that much of that on the agenda here, but uh, between the Jews and China. And they need to find some sort of new balance or some sort of way of working together. And if we can get the major f actors, the Americans, the uh, uh, Europeans, the Chinese, the Indians and others, um, that would increase the possibilities of dealing with the real big issues we have in terms of climate change, in terms of global health, in terms of uh, regulation of artificial intelligence, to mention just three really significant uh, global challenges.